welcome back guys this is one of our nightmarish race which is monaco grand prix and uh, let's see whether we have some luck in this game or race but before that like subscribe share to my channel if you have any interest in the content that i am putting off for so F1 2021 gaming content episode number 3 It is improvement Did I say improvement? Oh my god Fine, anyways um, As you can see we will be putting up our activities which are required for our team and i'm looking for a perfect one so one is going to be the team building the sponsors uh, advertisement second is the sponsors event and so on now we had a, a development to be done so we have uh, conducted the development and in others we don't have enough uh, departmental development to uh, get more researches to be done for the parts so that's not going in the good direction so let's go on and do we have anything that is going as we to continue lose? to increase our acclaim oh, more potential partners become willing to work with us we can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate tab ah interesting and we have another press interview with well, Buxton. Here we are in the HQ of our newest Formula One team. We've got an awful lot to talk about, so let's jump straight in. Your team's had their first win in Formula One. Is this a sign of things to come? Oh, don't uh, don't get uh, what you can say blinded by our first win. It's just a miracle to get that. Uh, we have increased the star, uh, level of what you can say AI so upgrades to your facilities seem to have stalled is there no more room for improvement or are you prioritizing other areas give me money I'll let you have enough and more development for my departments you've managed to get your team into a good position how long do you think it will be before you can challenge the big three uh, not in this season. Your second driver yeah. seems to be getting much more comfortable with their car. Have you been focusing on their development? Obviously. I mean, it is a team uh, race or team Would it game. be safe to say that in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team? I would love to do that, uh, but... Uh, yeah, with the current situation of our car, nah. Well, thanks a lot for inviting us here. It's been fantastic. Yep. Now get out. Our cash is getting pretty low. We may need to shut down facilities for a while to cut down our running costs. Dummy, shut up. Because we are developing our department so that we will get more better uh, anyways I, I don't have enough you're not currently in a rivalry sooner or later you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be a rival think carefully who you select as why you'll receive a claim for beating them you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so okay uh, if I get a chance, I would select Nikita Mazepin because yeah, last time we were even horrendous than that dude. So Nikita Mazepin will be a great battle. The Russian Mazepin versus the Indian. Mm, mm, slow person? I don't know. Yeah, anyways, we have a development uh, come, come up. So... That's going to happen very soon. It's it's sunny. Monaco is sunny. So and we don't have a track acclimatization. Ah, track acclimatization because that is what we require. 
Monaco is one place we require that and you don't give me that great for you anyways we have done uh, enough to get some development for the resource points forget about it but we i hope we do a better job than last time and from the uh, start of the video we saw that we did improve so does that mean did we really improve from the last time oh let's see what we actually come up with huh? what is happening over here oh it is team acclaim to six fine move on Jahan Daruvla anyways uh, let's go for who's the next guy Quali 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 eh 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 in one of the oldest tracks guys let's get the helmets down and let's roll the cars yeah it's a uh, high down force uh, circuit so park for me done and dusted because if we have high down force we don't need to think about the speed and every single second or uh, every single inch of concentration is required in this track man because look there is no runoff completely it's a street let's see how our banker lab goes with this not a good start not a good mean very bad start you can say 11 so 111 is the time set and what do we have 114 damn dude great number we are three seconds off the pole sitter current provisional pole sitter in q1 guys idiot anyways uh let's go this should be a better lap otherwise it's not an interest oh we actually increase two tens and with this under braking we actually increase it oh, we lose it a bit turned in very good moving in for the final few corners and it is one second almost up good so we are up to p19 interesting i was like okay fine that is more than enough for me mere tasalli ko to mere dil ka thantak pahunch gaya dil mein thantak pahunch hi gaya bhai par problem ye tha the problem was by the end of the uh, session we just thrown down to the bin we are asked Mazepin is also two tens faster than us. God. Really good day today? Because a Monaco is a crazy track. Yes. It's difficult to pass in Monaco. Dude, we are one of the back markers yes would you do something for that thank you sayonara okay yeah Nikita actually winning the rivalry damn Really? Come on, guys. Race time. Race time, guys. Race. Yeah, they, he will be leading at the end of the this race also. 
most probably let's see what else do we have durability there also it is uh, something is going to go through i don't know but we need to develop some more things cannot do it until it is in level 2 the department is in level 2 yeah so we cannot do it currently uh, let's get to the race Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world famous Monte Carlo Casino, first opened in 1863. And of course, a certain road race first held here in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco then, it's not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap, so always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Hamilton, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Norris, Gasly, Ricardo and Yuki Tsunoda, Fernando Alonso, Vettel, Lance Stroll and Ocon, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Jehan Daruvala, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Mazepin and Dipala. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Now let's get the race started brothers, um, it's Monaco, nostalgic area, can we do a dive bomb in Sandavart, which is a usual thing and uh, we have a normal one which is red wall to the, the yellow walls. But what we wanted to change was uh, this one. The, the strategy I wanted to go for was r anyway we are back. So why not go for a conservative or a different strategy where we go for the yellow walls first and then move to the red walls and i think that would be an interesting concept let's see so 16 uh, 13 laps will be with this yellow wall tires and the rest will be with the red wall tires and let's get the race begin with these anyways for the five red lights, we are about to start the race. Three, two, one, go! And we have a interesting start, not using any overtake mode yet because oh, too close to make Schumacher, make Schumacher, please move away from us. Okay, thank you. We have gained one position now. And Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Russell uh, are all in front of us. Can we do a dive bomb over here? It is interesting if we can do it. Wow, that was a huge dive bomb. And we were able to keep this. And it has been set. We are P18, I guess. Yes, we are P18 by overtaking three others if we were in something like p5 we would have got on to p1 by now man that would have been so huge 
and with this corner i want to say that it's there is something cheeky that you can do there is a small cheekiness that you can do yeah but it's it's tough to race in this circuit man it's it's the 20 laps that you have you should be absolutely on your uh, toe like fingertips you should be on day and night now let's see from a poe of the start for lando norris he had a very bad start lost out to pierre gasly and does he lose out to oh yuki sunoda he also loses out to yuki sunoda that's that's not a very good start for him at all do we have a different perspective of an another car from here okay Pierre, uh, yuki sunoda actually overtaking danny rake first itself and then a dive outside to get in the stand about to go for the overtake on landon norris he has taken it beautifully now for Cha Charles, Carlos, Carlos Sainz, he had a better start than his teammate Charles. Charles did not have a better start, so they were side by side by this up straight. But by the end of it, when we reach the casino, Carlos has taken it. Now, a different POV of what we did. Latifi's POV where we do the dive bomb. Oh my god, that was a huge dive bomb. And Mick tried to close the gap for Latifi to show that you cannot pass me at least. Anyways, and there is another POV where Sergio Perez from fourth position gets a way better start than the all top four all other top four and he was into top uh, p3 from p4 stupend of fantabulous man but i was thinking that we will be losing time and we will be pushed back but we are keeping pace with giovanazzi oh my god that is going good way better improvement from us from the last time when we came to Monaco okay oh look we can just cut that turn again and I want to show you Th there they don't give you the corner cut at all but this this was not going good oh Lewis Lewis went for a very early okay not an early one he needs to go for the pit stop because it is what you can say it is what it is it is what it is uh, so we have been let into clean air but the only issue with our clean air is that we cannot find the pace in these yellow wall tires we are in the top 10 but yeah but over here in the similar lap mm, Valtteri is keeping it very very honest with I think it is Lance Stroll Stroll is like being followed like an ant see how closely is Valtteri clo closing in with Lance and similar situation with Max also but all the while we have a four-time champion in the lead and a two-time champion former world champion in the second Sebastian Vettel and Fernando Alonso is in the top two positions and where we are over here see we are cutting those corners pretty well to gain a small bit of speed uh, what you can time over our Russell baby let's go okay we need to come in this lab interesting had a good lap eh? in lab man all green ah yeah lost it everything 
in that final corner ah stupids so i was thinking that we will not be having anything uh, fixed over here so i was like okay we will be in front of ras the tv and all these people but there that dumb idiots are trying to change my front wing which i did not require ha ke pasa ti yo anyways my team did a great job and russell is 5 seconds off or almost 6 seconds off from us god damn it literally hated that position man but you will get to see something interesting guys which is sebastian vettel who came in for his second stop first stop pit stop for the from mediums i thought everybody will will be going for the red wall but here he went into white wall the hard tires is he insane stupid or his team was stupid and we did see in the pre uh, in the start of the race that the second strategy was uh, from medium tires to hard tires stupid guys it is we did a great job of putting it to the red walls and actually we are catching up we though we are not putting up a good lap times we are actually catching up latifi what happened to latifi maybe he went down he went for another pit stop oh he might have went gone for the pit stop oh there actually we caught up in once lap we caught up with latifi russell Russell, when we left the pit wall, was f- about six seconds. See, we are cutting that corner so beautifully, guys. <laughs> yeah, interesting. But yeah, this even we are keeping honest with Latifi. We wanted to do a dive bomb over there, could not do it. See. we we had only one tire over the other side in front tire and yeah by the end of the race we completed it was valtteri who won then max then sergio then lewis then comes carlos sainz then we have fernando alonso i guess yes fernando alonso in the next position Sixth, seventh is Sebastian. Six, uh, eighth is Lance, and tenth is. And we had the worst mishap. Like ninety-nine percentage, we did a great job, and yeah, because of that cutting of the corner, karma just hit our face like a boom, boom, shaka laka, death. death in an instant guys in an instant so yeah 99 percentage successful is right because of that so another fantastic victory for the silver arrows anthony davidson how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Let's see what effect this result has had on the drivers' standings. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day. 
Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we so continue to bring guys. you the latest excitement in Formula 1. So guys, so we were having a confidence boost in Monaco that we cannot say no to. But we do not have that full uh, satisfaction of completing the race. So that is one of the biggest drawback from this race that I can see and guys we need to have a comeback from these last two races from Monaco and from Spain Spain being way better bad than what we even think about so next race weekend we need to know which race I think it is Azerbaijan and if it is Azerbaijan I have a good hope that we can get it we need to have the good race strategy and a good car so if possible we can get something out of it and let's see Things do we really go your way today let's have your take and you're happy about you it lost your teammate today was it just not your day um pretty much monaco it's my nightmarish not a great day for your teammate today what do you think went wrong Dumb? What are you asking? Is P16 or P17? What? Great. Well, that's everything. Really? Happy about it? You don't even come to... Ah, uh, this is... This is so bad to see. Yeah, we could have gotten at least the equal number so that it would have been 4, 5, but... By completing the race at least. So that is why I said that confidence boost is there in successing over the Monaco Grand Prix, but not completely, man. Ooh, the start gives us money. Money, man. Yeah, obviously damage reduction because we don't, we did not bring back our car in one piece. It was loose ends. God damn it, we have some money to run with, but, but, we need to know, but, huh, we have a part that is, a, that is cancelled, yay, failed macha, it's a failed part, go down, get to that, you reclaim it. What is it actually? A diffuser. And it is a minor one. And you lost to that. What is happening over here? What is? Que pasa tío? Anyways guys. We are waiting for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Hope that will be a much better one. And we will be able to complete the race. And gain some points out of it. So... Guys, like, subscribe, share to my channel. Look at my Instagram also. Uh, I have the handle inside the video. Check it out. So join the Maratil. Bye, guys.